Hey, I'm Paige Bond. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and relationship coach, helping partners design their dream relationship by learning how to repair quickly and feel more connected when thrown off balance. If you've ever felt that spark in your marriage flicker or perhaps fade away, you are not alone. Relationships go through ups and downs, and it's completely normal to find yourself wondering how to reignite that flame. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about five things you need to rekindle love in a marriage that has gone cold. Whether you've been together for a few years or a couple of decades, these tips are designed to add warmth and passion back into your relationship. So let's dive in. As someone who specializes in helping relationships thrive, I believe there are some key areas that most relationships fall short of, but with determination and hope can turn almost any relationship around. Starting with the first tip is number one, shifting your mindset from a fixed one to a growth one. I'll give you the common example of a couple coming to therapy where one partner who operates from a fixed mindset believes that their love has just naturally faded and perhaps they are growing apart with their partner. Someone with a fixed mindset can view challenges in a relationship as insurmountable, too big of a hill to climb, and might say things like, well, it is what it is, or there's nothing we can do to change it, that's how things are. A common dynamic is having another partner in that relationship with a growth mindset who recognizes the need for change and growth within their marriage. Instead of resigning to the idea that their love has simply reached its limits, a growth-minded partner sees this as an opportunity for renewal and improvement. The good news is that you can shift your mindsets. If a fixed-minded partner sees the potential for change and can be inspired by hope, they might be open to challenging their usual fixed-mindedness. Shifting into a growth mindset can look like actively seeking opportunities for personal and relational growth, attending couples' workshops, reading relationship books, or even podcasts, and seeking guidance from a marriage counselor even. Now, the second thing that you need to rekindle love in a cold marriage is prioritizing your relationship to create your unique love protected from the world. Stan Tatkin, a well-known psychologist, refers to the concept of the couple bubble as a means to prioritize and protect relationships from external stressors. So this is essentially a personalized ecosystem created by the partners for the partners to return to a safe haven from external influences that could potentially harm it. This doesn't mean isolation, but rather creating a safe space where the couple's needs and well-being are given priority. By creating a couple bubble, you will also protect yourself from intrusive negative relationship dynamics that could harm you, such as maybe overbearing in-laws. It could be the flame of an ex from your past intruding onto the present, or it could be a hobby even. It doesn't have to be a person. By intentionally creating a couple bubble for their unique relationship, partners commit to making each other a top priority in however they see fit. All right, so tip number three, developing secure functioning together to create a lasting bond is your key to putting your relationship on the right side of the tracks. This involves cultivating a relationship dynamic where both partners feel safe, valued, and understood. This also means understanding what makes each other tick, the good and the bad. You will want to become experts on each other and know what triggers the other so you know what not to do and when you might accidentally do what not to do, you know how to repair it by knowing what soothes your partner. Secure functioning also encourages a healthy interdependence where partners rely on each other for emotional support and mutual growth while allowing each other space to be autonomous. 
This interdependence fosters a deeper connection, making the relationship more resilient to challenges. So tip number four is about celebrating differences. The potential for a vibrant and passionate marriage to lose its spark comes into view when couples recognize their differences but choose to view each other as enemies rather embracing those unique qualities and allowing them to bring richness to the relationship. Instead of acknowledging that differences are natural and can be seen actually as a superpower in their partner, couples may start blaming each other for problems or challenges that come up. By tying in the growth mindset with viewing differences as simply another way to grow individually and relationally, you can cultivate a more resilient and thriving relationship. Fostering an environment where partners are continuously learning and evolving together. This is where you get to appreciate the distinctive qualities that each of you bring to your union. All right, last but not least, and probably the most fun way to warm up a marriage buried beneath the frozen tundra is reintroducing or exploring novelty within your relationship to spice things up and keep things fresh. Relationship expert Esther Perel says novelty is a powerful aphrodisiac. I think she's onto something here. While in secure relationships, we can have a sense of safety and routine, which provides stability, it's important to experience new things. And this is new things together and apart as individuals. This can help you rediscover your partner over and over again, prevent hurtful assumption making by staying curious, and create exciting chemicals in the brain like testosterone and dopamine, which creates lust and attraction. And that's going to invigorate sparks to your relationship. If you find yourself in a relationship where you're feeling bored, which can sometimes be confused with the feeling of safety and security, actually. But if you find yourself feeling bored, see what you might be able to do to spice things up. Maybe you surprise each other with a date and do something that neither of you have done before. Or maybe you plan a vacation to somewhere neither of you have been, making it an adventure for both of you and making new memories together. If money seems to be holding you back, you can simply try asking new questions to your partner, like, what's a dream you've never shared? And this will surely help you uncover more layers of each other, making the journey of knowing each other truly endless. All of these concepts combined could bring a sense of closeness and renewed love back into any stone-cold marriage. I challenge you to try at least one of them and see the impact it could have on your relationship. For more tips and resources on how to help your relationship thrive, hop on my website at pagebond.com or find me on socials at pagebondcoaching. Thanks for watching.